Well, good afternoon. <clears throat> We're going to go live on Facebook right now, too, for those of you tuning in. And Missy says we're good to go, so we're live, <clears throat> we're live uh, from the North American Bear Center. I may not have a full voice, but uh, I do. <laughs> Spencer definitely does, so we'll let him do a lot of the talking. But it's uh, Spencer and Scott for, live from the North American Bear Center with Missy filming for Facebook Live. How, how are you guys out there? Hello? It's a pretty nice day in Ely, Minnesota today, wouldn't you say? Yeah, definitely nice for the last week of weather we've had. Yeah, we went to... Uh, we were what twenty this morning, I think. Yeah. Twenty degrees. We've had we've had snow, we've had sleet, rain, and now we got some sun the last two days, so it's been kinda nice. But uh we still got the waterfalls going too. We usually shut them down considerably earlier. Yeah. And there was some ice built up around the sides of them for a while there, which is kinda neat. That's how cold it's been getting. Yeah, it's not that far away. I hope that the sound is coming through on our microphone. Um, we're here today because we want to talk about something that's always a lot of fun for us. It's always, it always amazes me, um, how good the group does out there, uh, our fundraiser team and all the folks out there that are watching how awesome you are in helping the Bear Center achieve goals. And it's our goal as a team together to achieve it. So this year, Give to the Max is coming up and it's the 17th of November is when it starts and we'll have a pretty full schedule, uh, that you'll be happy to see real soon that, that we'll be posting out there. I just got a uh, buzz here. I'm going to look. It says, sound is good, Marge. Hey, thanks, Marge. <laughs> it's really good that you said that because we always wonder, and then when we get inside, we find out it didn't. But the reason why we're broadcasting so early is because we have early giving. Woo! So we're broadcasting early <laughs> for early giving, which starts November 1st, right? Correct. And we're going to try and beat our goal of $12,404, I believe it was, last year. When we started Give to the Max Day at uh, midnight, we had over $12,400 already. We beat our goal unbelievably. And our goal this year is, is going to be announced shortly. But... Um, we just want to try and go for that, that record of $12,404. And I think give or take a couple of dollars, it's about right on. But we have a lot of fun with Give to the Max. And it's because of you folks out there that we can uh, achieve what we set out to do and then do more. Um, this year's goal is going to be, uh, again, I'm sure you're, you're kind of like, oh, here we go again. But it's about the bears and it's about the enclosures. And we've got our enclosures here. And we'll be running some video showing you that during Gift of the Max Day. All our fencing is here. Uh, the timing of weather and everything else this year um, held us back from getting it installed when we would have liked to. Did not work in our favor this year. No, plus uh, Low Impact, who does a wonderful job for us, got tied up in a project that rainy weather held them back from getting completed so they could start this one. But we've got our materials all paid for. Now our goal is to start hitting toward the labor. Right. And as everybody knows, labor costs and labor is not cheap. And it's went up considerably. But our goal this year is going to be to uh, get a portion of that. And then we want to, we're hoping to start the project right away in the spring. It's weather dependent. And <laughs> now it's bear dependent too, <laughs> because we got a little soft and decided we would let the bears out rather than it, and take a chance on getting them in right away. We're putting that pressure on Sharon. Right. Yeah. So come spring, um, come spring, we're going to you know, work with low impact and kind of get scheduling figured out. But yeah, we're hoping that we get bears in and get low impact here and start the work. But we'll see how that happens in the spring, because it's a lot easier said than done. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, once they're out, it's hard to get them back yet. Right. So we'll see what the weather in the spring brings this 2023 season. But we're fingers crossed that'll all work out. But yeah, we got to manage bears and weather at the same time. So hopefully that works out for us. Yeah, because we want to get we want to get that material that we've got sitting just a little ways up from here, about a it's what about a half a mile away, um, and we want to start using that beautiful material that got shipped to us from over in the UK. Yeah. So it'd be pretty cool to get that going. I'm sure everybody would be excited to see that go too. None more than us. Right. <laughs> I'll tell you, the enclosures definitely need to be updated. Yeah. And also, you know, we're going to be updating and uh, rebuilding all the bear dens to look natural and to look really nice for Ted, Lucky, Holly, and uh, Tasha. 
So it'll be a it'll be a good thing as we can see. Uh, Tasha's denning right next to us. Yep, she's right. She's right over there, and she does not want anything to do with us at the moment. <laughs> no, so she's is food driven, not people driven. <laughs> well, there's it's a little of both, but it's sure that nice that she did decide to den down here. I, I don't know that uh, she had much other options. Holly's uh, been pretty good at stealing whatever den she chooses, and she was even interested in the other day. But um, that's Tasha's den this year. She's been she's been holding it down. You know, and it's kind of nice. It gives us something to view during the winter months. Right. Uh, we get to see a lot of uh, actual bear habits, and uh, it's she tends to show a really good amount. She's a she's a beautiful bear. Oh yeah, she really is pretty. Well, you just posted a video of her, and everybody's talking about how pretty she is. She's she's yeah. a gorgeous girl. Yeah, she is. <laughs> and you know, giving them a new home uh, as far as uh, the pens go and stuff like that, it's not really a home. It's more of a a stop by for them because we want them out in the enclosure as much as we possibly can. And as you can see, if Marge is operating the camera, um, if she pans over, you can see all the woods work that we had done here just a couple weeks ago uh, while the bears were still in their enclosures. The reason why we did that is so that we could get the bears um, back out here into a safe area and not have to worry about fire danger, not have to worry about deadfall. Um, a lot of those trees were what they call widow makers. And you don't camp around those type of trees. And we had those taken down and a lot of the, the spruce and the balsam that were dead came down too. It gave us a whole new life and view of bears in my eyes for next year. Yeah, and we're real excited. You know, the timing of this will allow for next spring to have lots of new growth and uh, good stuff, uh, bear foods and just bear habitat stuff that will be growing, like uh, some large leaf aster and a few other um, food items that they will really enjoy. So if you do pan, you'll see the wood chip area. That's where we expect to do that when you were, you know, you had the bears locked up to do that throughout the season. Well, once we found out the fence wasn't going to be done, we all talked as a group in the, uh, in the office and all of us, uh, Sharon and Missy and myself and you and Amy, we all talked about the fact that what do we actually, you know, want to see with the bears right. and if they got to be cooped up just because we got the people coming in from BCC to do the woodwork, they were going to cut trees down and stuff right. like that for us. We decided that if we hired a place to come in here and take all that down, they get it done much, much faster. Right. And they did. And at the same time, then we could let the bears back out and take our chances of getting them in in the spring. Right. The bummer part of that, the good part is the bears are out. Holly and uh, Tasha are out. The bad part could be that they don't come out in time and then low impact has to start on another project early because they can't stay idle. Right. But uh, I think Sharon, uh, I think Sharon and you will do the job. Sharon knows the assignment and she knows what we want. I think she'll get it done. It's just whether the bears are going to cooperate. And believe me, Sharon's going to be biting her fingernails. <laughs> when it gets up to that time because we, well, you're getting those bears in. It really depends on when they come out of hibernation, too. Right, and like this past spring, you know, they were later than usual. Um, yeah, so if we have a yeah. similar spring, that doesn't bode well for us. But if we have an early spring, you know, that could that could help. But we'll see what, what spring brings. And, you know, right there tells you kind of a little bit of a story. If it's a late spring, they couldn't work on it anyway. Right. If it's an early spring, they can work on it. And so the timing's kind of there. We're just right. crossing our fingers that it works. Right. You know, and I think with the crew we got here, I think we can accomplish that. I, I know Sharon is real good at moving bears and oh, yeah. uh, a lot of the volunteers are great at helping out in yourself and we got uh, uh, Natasha here that can help too now right she's one of our new employees here at the bear center she came from the internship program yeah, so she was an intern last year she'll get to learn oh yeah right but anyway uh, we just wanted to make sure you knew on a uh, light note that early giving starts November 1st at midnight on November 31st or October 31st. October 31st. Thank you. Well, technically but, uh, November 1st. Right, right. November 1st. <laughs> <You had it. laughs> but um, thank you for covering for me. <laughs> but, you know, ultimately, we want to beat that goal that we had uh, or that amount last year of $12,404 yeah, for early giving. It'd be really neat. We got chances, I think, daily chances at $500 oh, yeah. during the early giving if we get givers each and every day. That's how it works, I think. You get so many chances per givers. Yep. Um, other than that, uh, Spencer, anything else you want to talk about? Yeah, just a, maybe triple, quadruple reminder. Early giving starts November 1st, so um, we're all raising funds for Give to the Max Day. 
to your first time listener to these broadcasts. It's just a big fundraiser we participate in every year. Huge fundraiser for us. We have a Scott mentioned we have a lot of fun doing it here at the center. We're up pretty late into the night broadcasting with some fun stuff with some special guests even potentially. Um, so uh, yeah, tune in, donate. Uh, we just want to get you all psyched and pumped up for that early giving period. Which again, we got to beat our goal of last year, which was twelve thousand. Four hundred and four hundred and four dollars. Thank you. Um, so we really want to beat that this year. And so, yeah, log on November 1st. That's when you can start. And let's let's smash that goal. And I uh, just want to thank all the Facebook watchers out there. And uh, I want to thank our moderators and our chatters and all the people that support the Bear Center. Thanks for tuning in. And we're hoping to come back to you next week. We'll be posting that on Facebook. And we'll be posting it on uh, our website as if we're going to show next Wednesday to have another little visit with you. So have a great day. Enjoy the day wherever you are. And thanks again for supporting the Bear Center. Signing out, Scott Spencer. <laughs>